and everyone's in the staging lanes. They're about to make a pass in Ruby. See how fast they can go for first pass in Vandermeer. They just got here, not, I mean, we got here probably 45 minutes ago. They got here this morning from Pueblo. Melted up a plug wire, a little few things. Got it all fixed. Got the plug wires moved out of the way, zip tied off to the side. That was pretty much the last pass of the day. They shut it down. Um, just got some things swapped around in the cars, got some things fixed. Wheels all changed. We're gonna head out to the next track. See you guys there. All right, so we're at the shop actually. The uh, checkpoint was in Platteville right by where Jamie lives so we crashed there for the night and parked the cars in the shop and we're getting ready to head out in the morning. It's gonna be awesome. We're at the first checkpoint for today, the Platteville Veterans Ce Cemetery. Um, things went great, just down the road from Jamie's house, so we cruised on over. Gonna grab our quick picks. Things looking good. Dig it. Liking the new haircut? It's pretty awesome. Second checkpoint. What a great drive. I gotta put my latch down. Awesome. Whew. So many people here at this checkpoint. They had some sliders for us, so we got a little bit of lunch. Check out this one, guys. This one's rad. It seems sick. It's really clean, nice cars. Alright, so we just drove 50 miles, stopping to get some fuel on the way to the next stop. Alright, so we just drove through some rain, it's sprinkling on us right now, it's not too bad. The windshield's a little bogged up, so we're waiting for it to defrost. We stopped with some other guys in the way. spot we are now in nebraska benkelman or something like that i don't know it's a long word and i didn't really want to read it but it's pretty rad it's a long drive we just drove probably 127 miles man was it fun these cars are just awesome it's pretty sweet all right guys so we've totally made it to our last checkpoint for today blueprint engines uh we're we just gotta go after this after we tour and eat we're gonna go to a roundabout that's our last real stop before we can go back to the hotel it's pretty awesome dude this ride has been just so much fun the scenery looks great uh riding in ruby rides like a dream man it's awesome first time ever being in a corvette honestly pretty rad though loved it well i'm gonna grab some food and you guys will get to check out the video later So we made it to Kearney, uh, just pulled in, just parked the car, swapping the fuel lines over, got the roof taken off, gonna do some racing here soon, it's gonna be pretty rad, I'm excited. So, I know I've been kind of teasing you guys this whole time, just showing you guys little clips, me talking, you know, where we're at. I've just been really taking it all in, enjoying the trip, you know, I've been navigating, I'm sure I could 
vlog navigating and stuff, but I'm just looking at a piece of paper saying, you know, take a left here on 44. So you guys don't really care about that. But this is really cool, guys. I've, I mean, this seven day event, and I'm only here for five of it, but it's rad. This is way rad. And I'm really enjoying helping out and being a part of the little pit crew. And there's some rain coming in, so we're gonna wait about 30, 40 minutes let it blow over and then uh get to race and after they prep the track and everything it's gonna be awesome i'll show you guys a few of the cars that made it to the third track we're at carney Yeah. Like getting the wheels flopped around. <laughs> really pretty car. Look at that one. <laughs> I love that purple. Everyone pulling in with their little trailers. So cool seeing all the different trailer designs people make. <laughs> trailers to match their cars. I think it's so cool. There's a whole different part to the scene, you know? Like, these guys are all about racing, but there's more to it, you know? They, they drive to the race, they race at the race, they trailer everything on the trailer that hooks to their car, and then, you know, they can even go further into designing that trailer and building that trailer, how they want that trailer around their car even, you know? So then the trailer matches the car, and they're just over the top at the whole thing. Look at this, 3000 GT, LS swapped. That's how you fix the 3000 GT. <laughs> somebody So Ruby went 8-8, eight eight, killed it, and uh, it didn't leave on very much boost, so we went into the, well, into the tune, they ramped up all the boosts, so now hopefully it'll leave on more, take off, and see some 850s, that's what we need, get the best average we can, but so then Leroy made a pass, it was a alright pass, it just pretty much a shakedown pass, I mean Cletus felt something weird so he let out, didn't want to hurt nothing right thing to do uh, but man there are just so many cool cars here I'm really stoked and I mean we got Canadians and Australians it's just such a rowdy off the event I'm loving it
Carney. What am I even saying? We're done for the day at Carney. Uh, both cars made great passes. Played us his first pass. He let out because he thought something was up, but it was all good. He made another one, ran 83. Freaking awesome. Then James went 88 and uh, I think he went 88 twice. He went 887 and then 88 something else. But just awesome. Mountain Race Week took over the street. We're at the first spot for today. Pretty rad. The old Pony Express. I dig it. So cool, Goofy. Oh yeah, it's way sweet. Look at that. The original Pony Express station. OG right here. Today we're going to be on Highway 30. We just get off to the checkpoints, but we stick to 30. The we're bogging deep. <laughs> Picked up a kayak at Walmart. Had to try it. Dad, I've gone through that gap right here. Bog it! Come on! <laughs> you got it! another 44 miles from the last spot to this spot um, we're still on highway 30 mobbing out swapped around my dad and Cletus are doing Leroy as we speak me and James just did Ruby wheels are all torques fuel system swaps it's ready to make some passes you see that car right there I dig that that's my style that's sick you see that drawing man the bald eagles are gonna be screaming So guys, um, earlier in my video, I show a rad car, just gorgeous. I, I talk about how cool it is, how gorgeous it is. Lost traction, tried to correct it, overcorrect a little bit. It was a really short wheelbase, so then bit the, the rim bit and 
shot him into the dirt. Once he hit the dirt, you know, there's no saving it. The car just started tumbling. He is okay. We watched him walk into the ambulance. The roll cage is solid. Motor's still in the engine bay. Car did its job. Did really good. Really, really good. Glad he's okay. We're pulling the car off the track now. It is an older style car. Really, really nice build. The guy was smart, great mechanic. The car held together, did his job. The rear end, when it bit the dirt and it started sending them end over end, the rear end actually flew 40, 50, 60 feet in the air. I mean, I, I live in a two-story house and I would say it was to the roof. And it went up and it went from the eighth mile all the way to the, the quarter, just the rear end. I mean, he, he stopped about the eighth mile. Just once the rim bit, there was no, no saving it with such a short wheelbase. Glad he's okay. His wife's, uh, his buddies called his wife. They're, she's gonna come down and get him and get his car. Thank God. Amen. <laughs> It's been a pretty solid day so far, nice weather, some slight track mishaps, but that's alright, things happen. One good one. <laughs> or do you want to sock it and put a couple of clamps on it? This pump sucks so bad that if you do that, it might kill this pump. It doesn't really have a lot of pressure to blow through that kind of restriction. It's only three quarter inch heater hose, so if you slow it down too much, it might the pump might heat. Yeah, all the rocks. Walmart. Oh, um, pissing too. Yeah, the only problem is if you 
might have to take both those fittings off the oh, intercooler and let me feed it down. So. Okay. You pulling them? So me and James just got, well James, I helped a little bit, but James just got the water line, the water line all fixed, it doesn't leak, we checked, we ran the pump, made sure it was good, we just ate some food, we're going to go make this fast now guys.
I checked him before his last pass. Oh? Yeah. checkpoint back to Pueblo Old Town Music Holy crap have we made it back to Pueblo guys we're gonna race at Pueblo Motors Park Motorsport Park in the morning can't wait for you all to watch that let's get built these out all right guys so we're about to grab a bite to eat and then head over to Pueblo do some racing today Woo! Looks like there's a car show going on in town too. There's some really nice little cars driving around. It looks sweet. Look at that. See that guy right there? Sick. Can't. Right there. Rad. So, we're uh, about to head out. We just woke up, just showered, ready. A couple cars still here. Alright, so, we're at the track. Pueblo, we're back. Do some racing today. On the street tires, just let them rip. It's gonna be a blast. Pull this cap out, put this cap on there, and then swap this line on a union to the other line. Right here. So it's got a union on it. So you pop the cap off, put this one on the union, put the cap on there. Super easy. Really sweet. Alright, guys, so everything's all swapped in there. Things just like that. Cap on. Fuel line swapped, super simple. And then there's a plug inside the cab where we uh, just swap the single pin plug, plug and it starts running the other pump instead of the stock pump. All right, you guys, so I've got the beanie on, I've got the coupe hat on. We had a crazy dust storm, got the camera too, but we had a crazy dust storm. They asked us if we wanted to quit racing or we wanted to race. The dust stopped, still blowing a little bit of wind, but not that bad. We said, hell yeah, let's race. So, they're getting some heat in the track. Cars are going down. We're gonna do some racing, boys.
to that. It's got a the radio, baby. short shift it but really just put fuel on it so let's make this thing happen guys So the transit's cooled off, we've iced it, we put fuel in it. We're pulling back up to lanes now, let's get it. <laughs> All right, so we've got 10 minutes left in the night. They're shutting it down at 10.30, it's 10.20. We're out of time, we're out of ice, and we're out of fuel. So this is our last pass of the day. We just did the award ceremony. Uh, Leroy got first place in the stick shift class. Bill got second place. But James got sixth place with the 10 7. Not too bad. Finished. So that's all we can ask for. This is Gooby Built. Peace out.